Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. Hello guys. If you want to watch this sports, follow the link in the description below. It's another belter, but there's a way out here. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, the camera nearly got that one. This is going to require the utmost skills. And look at that. Well, off one hand in the end, having to go for the ball. And then Russell gets the USA out of trouble. Fantastic dig from Christensen. Oh, Lucarelli wasn't sure if it was going in right. That one's off the shoulder of Tales. This is crazy volleyball. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Lucarelli on the taxi. Tales off the shoulder. And then Russell. Cross court bump up. And Souza. USA come again. Four options. And Anderson finds that corner. Mixer. Dorn tracks it down. McKenna tries to play back inside the 18. And Maryland surprised a bit from that short corner. They weren't prepared for it. Or if he lifts one towards Stanley, Pines is there to win that one out of the air once again. Daniel Wright has a try from distance. That one skids, looks like off the forehead of Dean St. Clair. Rain all day here in Durham, and you wonder if the slick turf got the best of the redshirt junior there for just a second. Yeah, he's grimacing a bit there, but watch this ball. Bounces right in front of him, takes an awkward hop, catches him right in the face, off the forehead there. That ball could have gone in the back of that very easily, but Dane St. Clair, he's going to get credited with the save, but early signs from Duke putting some pressure on Maryland here. Top 10 in the U.S. and shutouts this year with nine for St. Clair. As Frick clears that one away, matches the number he had a year ago. And 
that'll certainly have him involved in the game. That gets you already. going, right? That gets yeah. you going as a goalkeeper. Sometimes it's a while before you test anything, and suddenly you take one off the face. He's ready to go, though. Right off the chops. St. Clair makes the save, however. DeRosa, part of a bit of a rotation that Coach drofsky has gone with this year. The right side of that back line. Two-man game. And Yelly Proke back to assist, but it's Donovan Pines instead. One of three Maryland Terrapins in program history to be all Big Ten for three years. Now, of course, the history of Maryland the Big Ten is shorter than that of the ACC, but nonetheless, highly successful career for the 6'5 defender. Yeah, and he's going to have an opportunity at the next level. Turnover here. Rayanne with a head of steam. Bergman was back there. But the flag goes up and the whistle blows. Yeah, There's a bit of a late whistle on that. Lisa Rayanne had taken about 15 yards of space and was going at full speed before the referee blew his whistle. Pines on the ball again. All freshman team his first year. Second team all Big Ten his sophomore year. And now a first teamer in his third year on campus. Andrew Samuels. Lays it back to St. Clair. Nice win in the air for Aiden Stanley. And now Jack Doran looking for and finding Rayanne, who's trying to turn on Johannes Bergman. Great recovery there. Chase Gaspar got back. Because Johannes Bergman, that's a tough match. Jerome Bulger in on the consultation. Please reset the play clock to 10 seconds. The officials thought that New York was calling the timeout, but they were just doing hand signals. No timeout on the play. Second down. Well, the officials mistakenly thought the New York Jets were calling a timeout. They did not. So it's second and nine. Count with lots of time. Now throws it over the middle and across the 25, about the 27 yard line to Malcolm Johnson out of the backfield. David Harris and Calvin Pace making the tackle, which brings us to third and two. So we come up on 8.45 to play in the first. Well, and with the defensive front that the Jets have, they have the luxury sometimes only rushing three defenders and dropping guys into coverage. That time, Josh McCown had plenty of time to scan the field, looking sideline to sideline before hitting his check down to put this into a much more manageable third down. Kind of surprising that Josh McCown is getting the time that he's getting. It has been, you know, and that's where right now when you're only rushing that many people, uh, the offensive line for Cleveland is holding up. Play clock down to two, down to one. They got the snap off. And McCown throws sideline, and it is complete, and out of bounds, close to the 40-yard line, is Taylor Gabriel for a first down. Well, that time the Jets decided to bring pressure and lock down in man-to-man -man coverage in the backfield. Taylor Gabriel, young receiver, they said they weren't going to shy away from Revis. Josh McCown said, if we have to take our chances, we will. You can see there, Gabriel with a very good route, setting up Revis with that inside move out of the slot, taking it to the boundary with an accurate throw, picking up the first down. First down, Cleveland at the Browns, 40-yard line. This is Crowell. Crowell out of bound. Pick up of about three. We'll make it second and seven. Hey, never miss a moment of football action with the CBS Sports app. Every play, every story, and every...